hello everybody welcome back to my channel so today we're going to be doing a few things that I'm going to be sharing with you I have a few unboxings these are very exciting unboxings because you know um, as I'm slowly like not really net decorating but I'm just adding pieces to my space just for what I need for the current moment today I finally got my lamp rack and it's miniature but it's super cute so I'm hoping that this that lamp rack looks cute you know for real for real because you know when I saw it online I'm like I don't know but I hope it's not broken Oh, that's what's making the noise, okay. The bulb looks intact. Good, good, okay. So, I gotta put this together. It's gonna be cute, cause I need a rack. Cause, guess what, guess what guys? I got my bougie shirts. I brought them back. Now they're improved and better than ever. So, we're gonna get to that in just a sec. Okay guys, so this is the rack lamp that I purchased. And I think it's cute. Um, I didn't show you guys how I put it together because it was all complicated and I couldn't get it. So I'm just like, when I get things get complicated like this, I tend to not film on camera. Cause you know, I'm just trying to figure things out. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on so you guys can see. three months ago so it took about three months to get here and then on top of that I didn't get no tracking information no nothing so I'm thinking it's like a full-blown legit company but I mean they did say three to four weeks but it took three months and I don't know if I like that type of service because I'm thinking it's one thing and it's not and then when the, everything came in it was just like that same day the item came to the house is when they send me the sh shipping information like oh it's being delivered so you know I wasn't prepared for it I wasn't ready so I don't know if I like that experience if I want to share that experience with you guys but I will have to say the lamp is very unique and I love a unique piece for the house of Tabwa okay oh yeah I'm gonna show you guys what it will look like when I put the garments on the garment rack on the lamp okay the floor lamp <laughs> Alright, 
All right, so here are my bougie sweatshirts on the rack floor lamp. Okay, guys, so here are the shirts, and they are fabulous, okay? So I made from size small to 2X large. I already sold a couple, so I have to replenish, like I said before. And um, I improved the shirt, okay? So right here is the 2XL right now, and I went ahead and improved it by creating the bougie word this way instead of the other way because a lot of the Persians came and asked me about the word bougie and they were saying that it's reference to candles. When I had, when I went ahead and Googled it, it was a lot of candles. So I was like, no, I want the bougie aesthetic. So I went ahead and redid the bougie word to this way instead. And then I improved on the sleeves and the overall shape of the shirt. So if you want to go ahead and get yours, Go ahead and shop on my website. The link is going to be in the description box and pinned in the box if you guys are interested. All right. So um, let me just quickly show you it on so that way you can see. Here is the small. I decided to go with the small because I re-improved the shape. And this is what it looks like. So here is the small. And this is what it looks like. I think I like the small better than the medium, but if you want to have it loose with that different style and edge, you can go ahead with it. So this is what I'm working with, with my cute leather skirt for full. Yes, you can't tell me nothing. I do live this life, honey. And yes, I'm living my best life being bougie that I am. So now let's get into the tutorial uh, right now. Okay, let's go. Okay, so here we are. Um, before I get started on draping, I have a few housekeeping things I wanted to go ahead with you, over with you. A lot of people have been asking me where I got this miniature uh, dress form from. Um, I bought this in the garment district, a store called Silk Threads, and um, I got it for like 200 bucks. But it probably went up now because it's starting to get popular, these miniature dress forms. Um, I think the brand is PGJ, I'm not so sure, or PMJ, I don't know. Um, I did take off the label, so I don't remember the name. But if you Google it, in that sense, you probably can find it. Um, I'm pretty sure it's online because I think it was like close to $300 at the time. And that's like the, size, the price of a dress form. But anyway, you go ahead and look at it on Amazon. I think you can, you can find it on Amazon and on um google or google search so this is draping tape i'm going to use this to create my neckline I'm gonna drape the panels separate. I'm gonna follow the princess scene here. And then these are gonna be draped separately at the back as well. Remember to always pull and ease your fabric into the area that you're draping. Make sure you mark your neckline, keeping the line consistent. If you're above the tape, stay above the tape. If you're below the tape, meaning underneath the tape, mark underneath the tape consistently throughout the draping process. So I'm outside of the tape.
So now I'm shaping and correcting my patterns and then I'm gonna add seam allowance. pattern pieces done. So this is the drape fully complete and I'm going to have a side opening. What I'm going to do is further uh, tighten this up on the side here just to make it more cinched at the hip line or lower hip line. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and even all this out. For me, I'm gonna go up in an upward position with this because I like the front to be a little bit higher than the back when it comes to my mermaid styles. So I'm gonna go ahead and fix all of this and then add the circle bubble hem of the mermaid. Okay, so I went ahead and made the adjustments and adjust the hemline of the dress as well as the back. And now I'm gonna go ahead and make the circle skirt portion of the, the gown so it'll be connected so I can see the full fit of this piece. So at the end of my dress, I'm gonna go ahead and measure this so that way I can create my circle skirt. So mine is 14 and a half. So I'm gonna take my piece of muslin right here, fold it in half. And then at the top corner here, I'm gonna come down uh, four and three-eighths of an inch. That is half of my circle skirt. And then mark where the skirt will be. At that same corner, I'm gonna bring it all the way over to the top as well. And I'm gonna do is just make sure it's even all the way around. go ahead and add a quarter of an inch at the top just in case for seam allowance and now from this line I'm gonna go ahead and measure how far down I want my skirt to be okay my circle skirt so I went ahead and placed my circle skirt here on another piece of muslin that is folded on the fold um, I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out to create even a bigger circle um, but I won't be cutting out this front because this is gonna create a bigger uh, seam here and I don't want that seam to be bigger on that skirt I want it to be exactly the measurement of this for the outer shell circle so let me go ahead and cut this out all right, so here it is. So now I'm just gonna fold this, fold this in half, but I'm gonna fold this even and place it right here. Cut this out. And then when I open it, it should give me the circumference of the actual seam.
okay so let's try this on the dress form okay so here is the final drape and I love it this is what's going to look like the actual garments just in the drape I obviously created a higher front um, to allow you to have if you have a pair of shoes that you want to show off it can be shown by it being peeking through and then on the back the back is elongated um, because of the way I created the hemline finish and it's going to be on the floor so it can give you that high look high low look and this is basically it so um, I'm going to stop the video right here tune in next week so I can show you guys um, how I transfer this onto the fabric I'm going to be using the same floral fabric that I used in my last tutorial I will link it in the video right now and um, yeah so just stay tuned for next week don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video bye guys